What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another talk shit and do makeup because I didn't know what to film today, honestly, and I'm tired of looking at my face without makeup. So that's what we're going to do. I have a glass of wine here because we all deserve it. So get yourself a glass too. I have the stuff that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale over the weekend that I'm gonna show you guys. It's really not that much. Like I only got like six items, not nearly enough to do like a full haul. So I figured why not just show you guys in this video. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let me take a sip. I put my weave in for the first time since like my mom's wedding. It is so ratty, I need to like condition it because whoa. All of the makeup I have to use is like, does not match this hoodie at all. I don't care because I wanted to wear it. So like, you're just gonna have to blow me because I don't give a fuck. Uh, I also, but yeah, you guys really seem to enjoy my last uh, do makeup and talk shit. So I'm always glad to do more because they're super easy to film. Very difficult to edit. <laughs> Cause it's just me rambling on forever and I'm like, okay, are you gonna make sense anytime soon? Probably not, but let's go. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna put on my face that I got, this is the Tarte um, Timeless Smoothing Primer. I got this solely because I'm obsessed with Tati or Glam Life Guru. I've watched her for years and years and years and she um, swears by this stuff. So, ooh, I think that's all, is that a lot? I don't know how much of this to take. Do like half that amount but it it's like in a jar which is cool because most primers aren't in a jar and it's supposed to be really great at smoothing out your pores which is everything i've ever dreamed of so let's try it i think i actually gave this to my mom one year for like mother's day but never actually tried it for myself oh this feels nice definitely smoothed out my pores and smoothing out my whole skin it feels really really great yeah i don't know who i thought i was like not putting my hair back to do my makeup because that is just not me, but it's very difficult to do it with a weave in. It's already, it took me so long to do my hair earlier. Like literally I washed my hair at 10 a.m. and it's now 2.40. I have so many brow products already open, but I think I want to crack into a new brow wiz just because at my old job, they used to have like a salon in the back, like a test salon. So literally I would just get my hair blown out once a week um, at work and I never had to wash my own hair or do my own hair. It was, uh, it was amazing. And so now that I don't work in there anymore, I'm like, what? You expect me to brush my hair myself? I don't know what you call this, but it's not the right life to live. Um, so yeah, Anastasia Brow is soft brown, the huge, the holy grail. I'm so glad that there are all of these like drugstore options of like micro brow pencils like this, but this will always be the holy grail. Maybe I won't feel as much of a need to have like three of these on backup at all times now that I have those other brow pencils that are really great options too, but like, I'm always gonna have to have at least one. So like, it's really fun checking my email now because like every time I check my email, there's like another company hitting me up to like work with me or to send me stuff. And I'm like, wow, people know who I am. What the fuck is that like? But yeah, it's really fun. Like I woke up literally at 5 a.m. this morning and had a fucking email from Too Faced in my inbox. I was like, what? This is so fucking cool. Also, why are your employees like emailing at 1 a.m.? And iffy. Although in California it would be like 1 a.m. and here it would be like 11 p.m. in California, which is still really late to be working. Like, go to sleep. It's just makeup, babe. I wonder how that is to like really have to work that on. <laughs> I mean, even when I worked in the industry, it was like 5:30 came and we went home. Like, we weren't curing cancer. We were just making lipstick, you know. And it's like that at a lot of companies, like. They take shit really, really seriously. Like L'Oreal specifically, not just L'Oreal the brand, like the whole like umbrella. They work, woo, their interns, a lot of my friends were L'Oreal interns and they would be in the office until like legitimately 11 p.m. And I'm like, oh nah, like no lipstick is that important. Like, no, 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 no. And like, I'm a very hard worker, but there just comes like a limit to like, you have to have your own life. I talk about so much shit in my last Do Makeup and Talk shit that I'm like, what do I have to even have left to talk about? Summer's coming up and we so, so badly want to go like on a vacation, like a beach vacation, but yo, traveling is so expensive. And we actually have a big trip to Europe coming in December. And then we're also trying to plan a trip with our two friends to Thailand next year. So it's like, I don't know if we're gonna have the money to take another trip this summer, but I really, really want to. I really want to go to like 
Jamaica or like somewhere with a beach. Just put me on the sand with a fucking mojito. Okay, so I'm running really low on my NARS Soft Matte Concealer, uh, which is what I use to carve up my brows, but I don't want to repurchase it because like, I don't know, like it's just too much money as just, it's too much money to spend on just a product that I'm using to carve up my eyebrows. Like, I feel like there's something in the world that's gonna be just as good for that purpose for like a lot cheaper of a price and I know like uh, NYX has the, their jar concealers but I don't like them as much to carve up my brows they're like a little bit too sticky I like this because it dries down matte so it like I don't know it just works better so if you guys have any recommendations for like brow carving products it doesn't necessarily have to be a pot concealer that's just what I'm used to if you have any recommendations please let me know in the comments because I really don't want to repurchase this thing. It's like a $30 concealer just to do this step. It's like ridiculous. Do you guys even like makeup tutorials anymore? I feel like I personally don't watch them, which is why I don't like film them very often because I'm like, do people even, I mean, and even the makeup tutorials I film, I feel like they don't get nearly as many views as like my fashion videos or like really any, like they get the least amount of views out of all of my videos. So I'm like, do people even care? to learn how to do a look anymore? I don't think so. I feel like the time has come that kind of everybody has like a very good base knowledge of makeup and they really just want to know if the product is good and don't really care to know how to do a look. I don't know. I, I guess like the majority of people that watch YouTube videos anyway. Hacks and tips about like technique and stuff are still relevant but like me just putting on eyeshadow I feel like is not relevant anymore which kind of sucks because they're a lot of fun to film and it's like a great way to like be creative if you do this full time you can't just you have to take into account what people are watching so I got these two I got two more of the steel liquid shadows because that's me but I got the shimmer and glows I all the ones I have or no, most of the ones I have are the uh, glittering glows, but these are the shimmering glows, so they don't have like ch the chunky glitters in it. They're more like metallic instead of glittery. Oh, and I got the shade Cloud. Let me do a little swatch. This one is, I think this is what I'm gonna put on my eyes today. It's like this beautiful like lavender with like gold uh, reflex in it. It's definitely gold. Maybe some, some silver pearl in there too. And then this one is La Douce. Um, and this one is, I've had my eye on this one for like months. I think, who did I see uh, swatch this on their video? I think Mariah Leonard put this in a video of hers. And it's this beautiful like copper olive green. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I cannot wait. Like this weekend, I'm pulling this bitch out. Today, not so much because I'm just like going to the bank after this. <laughs> That's like, I don't know, kind of like, a, not that I care what people say, but it's like, it's a waste to make a look. Like I want like an entire bar or club to see that I look, you know? I was supposed to work out this morning and I didn't. I've been really slacking. Ever since we got back from Italy, I've been really slacking. But like my best friend is getting married in June and I gotta get back on the horse. Okay, I'm just gonna use uh, this Makeup Revolution concealer as my eye primer today. So I feel like I use up my shape tape too quickly. Although this is like, I feel like I don't use this really at all like often at all and you can already like see like when you look on the side it's already like you gotta scrape the edges which is so weird so i guess there's not much product in that guy but i guess it's seven dollars so does this happen to any of you guys either like your acrylics your acrylics like the tips fade so fast it looks so ugly but like they're not grown out enough for me to go to the i guess yeah maybe like next week i'll go but like the tips fade so fast it's so annoying probably because i like wash way too many dishes without gloves on oh so remember in that video um the trying new makeup video when i said that i had this stellar loose powder and i like forgot to use it thank god i didn't use it in that video because it is hot garbage well i mean for under the eyes at least because it's like super yellow so it made my under eyes look crazy and it just didn't work under the eyes maybe it's like a loose setting powder for all the, over the face but whoa i would have ruined my entire makeup look if i put that under my eyes that day and i was actually quite proud with how my makeup came out that day considering it was all new stuff so i would have been very upset oh i also got this uh dr jart shake and shot um uh, instant brightening boost mask so look at the top it's so fucking cool. like a little baby but you open it and like the straw in the baby's mouth is like a spatula and then you mix these things together and you put it on your face and it's supposed to be one of those um 
one of those like jelly masks that dry and then you peel it off in like one sweep. So I'm super pumped to do that. <sighs> this palette will work for this. Do you think, okay, this is the Bobbi Brown Crystal Drama Palette, which they sent me. So thank you, Bobbi. But do you think this will, well, that kind of is in the same color family. It's just very cool tone. You guys know that is not my cup of tea, but I think I'm gonna step out of, out of my comfort zone today and try it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Toast. Oh my God, I love Toast. Put this right in my crease with a fluffy brush. I'm not even sure if I should have done this because all the rest are like purpley cool tones, but whatever. Also, I'm wearing fucking orange and pink on my hoodie, so I don't know. Bobbi Brown eyeshadows are some of the best eyeshadow formulas ever. At least they're mattes, because they have a lot of different finishes, but their mattes are bomb. Then I'm gonna take a E25, and I'm probably going to this guy, which is called Dusty Lilac. I don't know how this is gonna mix with Toast, but we'll see. I think it's just gonna give it more of a purple transition to go into more purples. Oh, it's blending really nicely together, actually. Oh my god, when me and Bianca went to that Revlon event a few months ago, uh, Mario, you know, Makeup by Mario, he was doing like a, a demo, or like he was doing like makeup on a model on stage, and he like asked the audience, he asked us like what color he should go in with next, and he had like purple on the eyes or something, and then he was like, what color should I go in next? And it was all like really, really bright, and me, of course, being like the daring human that I am, I yell out, do the green. And he's like, ugh, the green. <laughs> and I was like, just kidding. No, I didn't say that. And maybe Aqua were hysterically laughing. Literally, he was like, ugh, why would I? He's like, I can't do the green. And I was like, okay, I'm just an idiot. I'll go uh, die now. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this guy over here, which is eggplant, very fitting shade. This one has more of a shimmer. I'm taking it on this Firm Blender E44. I'm going to, oh, okay. not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I don't know, man. This pigmentation is like, okay. Yeah, you see the mattes are beautiful and then you get into their other finishes and you're like, I don't know, something went wrong here. You see, and all that fallout, that's crazy, dude. Maybe I'm using the wrong brush for this color, but man, it's like patchy too, what? The fuck? Okay, well I guess it's gotta be patchy on the other eye because it's gotta match. Maybe I'll pack and then blend. Ugh, nothing worse than an eyeshadow that gets patchy. Atrocious. Sorry, Bobby. Oh. Okay, I've got this new Tude palette, or new Dude palette from uh, The Bomb. I'm gonna go into this friendly shade, which is kind of like a really deep eggplant, which is what I thought that one would look like but it's not. Oh, my. there we go. There we go. Thank you for saving the day, the bomb. You are truly the bomb. Ugh. <sighs> Something about Cool Town just doesn't make my heart tick. That fallout is insane, dude. Okay, we are, we're getting somewhere. I feel like this crease is a little patchy still. Wow. <laughs> just a casual everyday look. Turns out to a fucking purple smoky eye. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy over here, which is called porcelain. I just use this to uh, highlight my brow on. So give us some travel destination recommendations in the comments. Specifically, like if there's anywhere really cool in America that you guys love, let me know because that is usually cheaper. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Cloud, and I'm just gonna put this on the lid. I'm super pumped about this. These are truly the best makeup product ever created, at least in the past like five years. I really wanna try, I know Pixie has like a liquid shadow and Glossier. I wanna try those too, see if they're at all comparable. I've literally never tried Glossier, and I was low key like boycotting it for a little bit, just because like, it all just seemed like a big marketing ploy to me. Like, you're selling a clear lip gloss and making it out to be a revolution. Like, who are you? 
but people seem to rave about it, so maybe it is a revolution. So I think I'll give in eventually, but I don't know. I think the thing I'll give in about is those liquid shadows, because they do look really nice. But other than that, like other Glossier products never really interested me, but those look cute, so maybe I'll try them. Ooh, pretty. That's not as purple as I thought it would be, but it is really pretty. Why is the heat coming up? It's like fucking April. Okay. Do I do a win? Oh, this is still pretty patchy on that corner. Let me. Okay. I don't need any clips for this guy. Maybe it's his brush. I didn't think about that. Look at my edges. They're getting there. We shall rebuild. I just put a little bit of this Bobbi Brown extra lip tint in Bare Pink Sparkle. It's because I feel like my lips look so dead on camera and dry. I realized when Meech told me that my uh, lashes had like a lot of glue on them yesterday that I sometimes reuse lashes like too much. Like I use them again when they should just go in the, in the trash. So I'm trying not to do that. So I'm getting a new pair of lashes out. These are actually from Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below because they don't really have much of a name on them. But I will put them on my Amazon page. If you guys don't know, I am an Amazon ambassador. And so I put like a lot of stuff that I don't really talk about. So I put a lot of stuff that like I use in like my everyday life on my Amazon page, like home stuff, cooking stuff, uh, workout stuff, like that kind of thing. I put that on my Amazon page for you guys to check out because it's all really, and I only put the stuff that I like get from Amazon that I actually like have repurchased or like really like. So check that out. I'll link everything down below. But yeah, I am a very, very loyal Amazon Prime user. Like I order everything on Amazon. Even my groceries sometimes. I even have an Amazon credit card. Like it's a lifestyle. Woo. Okay, do you guys know, I'm sure a lot of you do because she has like literally millions of followers on Instagram. A girl with no job or Claudia Oshry. I am obsessed with her and her freaking three sisters. That whole family, I'm just like, let's be friends. But she has a morning like talk show slash podcast that she does every morning with her older sister, Jackie, who is Jackie O Problems on Instagram, who is also a great Instagram. They do a morning show every day at 1030 and I'm obsessed with it. It's called The Morning Toast. And they basically just like talk about like celebrity gossip and celebra celebrity drama every day. And like, I'm really not even that into celebrity gossip, but I just love them. So I watch it literally every day. They go live on YouTube and Facebook. And I think they like record it and it's in the podcast store on, or the podcast, yeah, the podcast store on iTunes. I love them. They're so, so funny. So like, especially they're really into like The Bachelor and Real Housewives shows. So if you are fans of those shows and you like to like talk about it, but maybe your family is like Ashley or whoever you are, shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit and listen to it because you'll like, <laughs> it'll be a great outlet for you to talk about or like get that off your chest without anybody telling you you're annoying. My skin has felt so congested for the past like week, but I've also neglected to do a mask in like two weeks. So that's probably why. The only bad part about traveling is that you don't have like your normal get ready setup. Like I hate getting ready at hotels. I just feel like I'm missing everything. And, like the lighting isn't good. The mirror is like not the right height, you know? Like, it's just annoying. Those wings came out pretty damn good. Okay, I'm thinking that I really wanna try a new lash glue. This one's good, but it, I feel like it takes a little bit too long to dry. And then I either end up putting it on too early or too late, and then it just becomes a mess. And I also feel like it doesn't actually dry clear. So I think I'm gonna try the House of Lashes glue, even though it's expensive. I wear lashes a lot lately. I feel like it's just a good investment. I'm gonna coat my lashes with the Lancome Definisil mascara. Everybody, this is like a holy grail, like cult classic mascara, but I honestly only ever use it under lashes. Like on its own, it's just boring. Like, Ooh. I also was playing around with my camera settings and I feel like I got it to look really, really good. Finally figured out what to fucking do on my camera. And all it took was a little bit of a Google. Uh, <laughs> all it took was a little bit of a Google. So the other night I tried to make eggplant parm and I made it successfully, but I was a dummy and I went and got a jar of sauce instead of just making my own like like red sauce, which I usually do. And it's not that, it's not hard at all and it's super quick, but I was just being lazy and I got a jar of sauce and the whole thing came out so fucking salty, like it ruined it. And I was so pissed because like the eggplant came out so thin and crispy and perfect. 
and I cut it up with that stupid sauce. I went to the grocery store and I was like, why is this sauce like $1.99 and every other sauce is like $5.99? Yeah, because that sauce sucks. Why did you buy it? <laughs> Those weren't the actual prices. I can't remember the actual prices, but it was like the one I got was way cheaper than all the other ones. And I was like, well, obviously I'll get this one. <sighs> no, Ashley, obviously you don't. When it's that low price, obviously it's shit. <sighs> so I don't know, I have to redeem myself with dinner tonight. Not even for me, because he like ate it and actually enjoyed it more than I did, but just because I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat in that salty ass eggplant farm for two days. Did you guys file your taxes? I still haven't filed an extension though. <laughs> Uh, I talked about that in my last uh, do makeup, talk shit and do makeup. And I actually have an uncle that does my taxes for me and I sent him all of the like paperwork and stuff like literally two days before tax day. I'm such a fuck up. I fucking hate adult things, man. And now that I'm like working for myself full time, next year's taxes is gonna be so much more annoying. Wow, there's one lash in this strip of lashes that's like up to my eyebrow so long. This is another product I got in the VIP sale. I finally got the Dior Forever, uh, Dior Skin Forever foundation, which like everybody and their mama uh, talks about. Um, I am going to do a full review on this and like a wear test tomorrow. I was gonna film that today, but it's already three o'clock and I wanted like a really good wear test out of it. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to get up early or like get filming early uh, now that my hair is done. Do like a full wear test, but for today I still want to wear it. I've worn it a few times since I bought it. I want to film a uh, review with this and the Dior Forever Primer because you guys know I love that stuff. So I want to do like a, an ultimate Dior Forever <laughs> wear test and like actually like maybe work out with it on or something and do all that. It's actually a very thick, well I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. I'll make you wait for the review for that. This is what I'm using today because it is what I got in the haul. And I want to have like a good idea of it when I do that review for you guys. Now, I guess I'll show you guys how I cream contour. So I use the NYX Wonder Stick. And I start off by going here. And then here. And I always like, I never like match them up the right way. Maybe my face is lopsided. I don't know. And then up on my forehead, because that's where I need it most, because I got a big head. Um, and then on the sides of my nose, which I'm still like, I don't know, I'm not the best at my nose contour still, but we're learning. I feel like my nose is definitely crooked, like even my mom told me and she's the queen of nose contouring. Like I have like a hump here, and so it like makes my nose contour look really weird. And then under my lip, and I always forget that I put it under my lip and then I forget to blend it out. And then along my jawline to conceal that double chin. And this is like definitely the iffy part because like when you turn your face you gotta make sure that shit is blended out so i was using my um like a stippling brush to blend it out but i started using the beauty blender to do it when i started using this foundation the other day because it's just like a dry formula and i felt like the stippling brush was just gonna like pick up the foundation when i started to blend it so i th i thought that the moisture in the beauty blender would do better i feel like it picks up a lot of the product though and you just gotta make sure that you use like one side for your contour and one side for your concealer on your beauty blender just so that you don't mix them so that you don't like muddy up your concealer color i don't know which i prefer i think i actually prefer the brush but we'll see i feel like i'm still getting used to this method. It's surprising though because I usually prefer the Beauty Blender for any step, but for my nose contour I've been using this brush which is the E70 from Sigma. The medium angle shading brush and what I like about it is that it's very like loose, like it's not densely packed at all. So it makes blending it out really really easy. I don't know man, my skin lately is just like really textured and I don't know why. Probably because over the weekend I slept with my makeup on by mistake. Or not slept with my makeup on but I just took took off my makeup and didn't like cleanse my face after, which is like, you already took off your makeup. Just stop being lazy and do the other part. Then I'm gonna go in with light um, shade tape yeah, to conceal as usual. I've been using less of this though because it's very, very pigmented and I feel like it can go a little off um, if you apply too much. I also am open to trying a new concealer. I know I you guys never thought you would hear me say that, but I swatched the Laura Mercier, uh, I can't remember the name of it, whatever her like full coverage concealer wand is, 
at Sephora the other day and then I asked my friend Ezra and she was like, oh my God, no, like that's my holy grail. It's even better than shape tape, like you need it. I was like, oh, why didn't I buy it? So I'm thinking of trying that. Definitely contour my nose crooked today. This is what happens when somebody that doesn't really even need to contour their nose ventures into contouring their nose. I just wanna look snatched, man. So yeah, my best friend's getting married. I'm so excited for her. Um, we're going to Vermont next weekend for her bachelorette party. And I'm like, dude, I'm just like so excited about going. I'm like, what the fuck is there to do in Vermont? Especially for a bachelorette party. I mean, it's just me, her, and my other best friend, Raquel, who you guys have met. She's been in videos. Well, Amanda's been in videos too. Okay, well, Amanda and Raquel. Amanda's getting married. And me, her, and Raquel are going to Vermont next weekend for her bachelorette party. Just us three. And I'm like, what? What are we going to do? Like, she's Jewish, so Friday to Saturday, like, sundown Friday to sundown Saturday, we can't really do anything because she observes Shabbat, so, like, we can't get in a car or really, like, do much. But she wants to go out Saturday night. I'm like, where the fuck do you go out in Vermont? Like, so if any of you guys are from Vermont, I know where to go. I mean, Vermont's a whole state, though, so, like, I don't know. If you know anything about where to go out in Vermont, I don't even know what part of Vermont we'll be in, but please help us out. Cause like I want us to have fun and not just have to sit in the hotel room the whole time. But also, why did you choose Vermont? I'm like what? Okay, my face just feels super dry right now. Why does it feel so dry? <laughs> it feels so dry right now. Grabs loose powder. This nose contour is kind of atrocious today. Okay, so I have this little Fiona Styles um, contouring palette. This is the sheer sculpting palette in light medium. It has like three different uh, like contouring shades, and I've been using this one and really really liking it. Um, and yesterday I used it with this brush. This is the 25 NYX brush. And it's really, really nice. Cause you can just get it in there and then just like blend up and it does a really great job. Okay, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I'm sorry you guys, I'm so boring. I use the same blush colors all the time. But like, I don't know, I'm not a big blush person. So I'm gonna use Copper Tone for MAC today. Even though it's like straight up an orange. Oh shit. Oh no, that's tie-dye, not makeup. <laughs> well, I guess I'm wearing orange, so that's fine. It also doesn't really look orange when you put it on the cheek, especially when your brush is dirty. <laughs> Seriously, maybe that's why my clogs, are, my clogs are so poured, my pores are so clogged, just because I haven't washed my face brushes in a while. Last product that I wanted to show you guys that I got in the haul. This is the Hourglass uh, Vanish Highlighting Stick. What is it called? It's their new uh, like stick highlighter. So, so pretty. This is what I wet the other beauty blender for. Where is it? Where's that little guy? Here we go. It's not even wet anymore, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this on it. Cause I found, I applied it straight from the stick and it didn't really work very well. So I'm just gonna use this. And then I tried it yesterday with like my big beauty blender and I was like, whoa, that kind of went everywhere. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity for me to use my little guy. It's just like really awkward holding this thing. But isn't that beautiful on the skin? Like it literally looks like, oh my God, so pretty. Very nice, I'm very impressed. And even on top of all of that powder I put on my face, it just blends into the skin so beautifully and gives you that like, ooh, metallic glow. I forgot that I have like a lower lash line. What should I do down there? I think I'm just gonna do... Ooh, maybe I'll do this color. Just to like give it, you know, spice it up. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this little Luxie brush and go into this shade, which is called Tiger's Eye. How majestic. Just left this. Oh, wow, that's pretty. You see, they're metallics. And their mattes are really pretty. The other like in-between shades or in-between finishes are iffy. I'm also gonna take the hourglass highlighter on the inner corner of my eye. Because I have a tool to get it in there. Is that bright enough? And I'm gonna hit my lower lashes with some mascara. I feel like I'm like washed out. Maybe it's my camera setting. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. For some reason, I don't know what happened, but like Whirl was like the perfect lip liner and now I put it on and I'm like, that's too light. I need something darker. Formula wise though, MAC lip liners are the shit. And then I'm gonna top it with a good classic. This is NYX Beige Lip Gloss. It's not beige y'all, it's straight up pink. Mm, I haven't worn this in so long. Oh my God, the smell, so nostalgic. It smells like NYX lip gloss and then it also smells like cherry cough medicine, which some people would probably hate. But I fuck with it. 
yo, your girl needs a lip exfoliator like a mother. And then I'm gonna spritz everything with a shit ton of this Milani Make It Last because my face feels so dry right now. That was the moisture your girl needed. Okay, you guys, that is it for this do makeup and talk shit. I can't even remember half the shit I talked, but hopefully it was semi-entertaining. I did also just really want to show you guys what I got in the VIP sale and it wasn't enough for haul. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity. I'm also not done with my wine yet. So let's see what I can do. Okay, chugging wine seems a lot easier than it actually is. Well, you guys, this is the finished look. Make sure you stay tuned for, it'll, I don't know if it'll be my next video or like next week or something for uh, my full review on the Dior Forever, uh, Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Um, yeah, you kind of got like a little bit of my thoughts on it today, but I'm gonna do a full uh, review and wear test for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,